we are given that f of x plus y is equal to fx times fy. Set y is equal to 0. We get f of x plus 0 is equal to f of x times f of 0. Now we are given that fx is differentiable at x is equal to 0, which implies that fx is also continuous at x is equal to 0. And it therefore follows that f of x plus 0 is equal to f of x. Using this, the above equation becomes f of x is equal to f of x times f of 0. Moving all terms to the left hand side and taking fx common, we get fx times in brackets f of 0 minus 1 is equal to 0, which implies that either fx is equal to 0 or f of 0 is equal to 1. Now we are given in the problem that f of x is not equal to 0 for any value of x. Therefore, f0 must be equal to 1. Now we are also given that f dash 0 is equal to 2. f dash 0 can be written as the limit f of h minus f of 0 divided by h as h tends to 0. And this is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 1. Now f dash x can also be expressed as the limit f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h tends to 0. f of x plus h can be written as f of x times f of h. Therefore, f dash x becomes the limit h tending to 0, f of x times f of h minus f of x divided by h. This is equal to the limit h tending to 0, f of x multiplied by, in brackets, f of h minus 1 divided by h. Now recall that f of 0 is equal to 1 derived above. Therefore, f dash x can be written as f of x times the limit h tending to 0, f of h minus f of 0 divided by h minus 0. Now the value of the limit is equal to 2 per equation 1 derived above. And therefore, the value of f dash x simplifies to 2 times f of x, which is the required result. Now this implies that f dash x upon fx is equal to 2. Integrating both sides, we get integral of f dash x upon fx dx is equal to integral of 2 dx plus the constant of integration. This implies that ln of fx is equal to 2x plus c. Now we are given that f of 0 is equal to 1. Putting x is equal to 0. The above equation becomes ln of f0 is equal to 2 times 0 plus c. Which implies that ln 1 is equal to 0 plus c. And therefore the value of c is equal to 0. Substituting this in the above equation, we get ln fx is equal to 2x, which implies that fx is equal to e raised to the power 2x, which is the required answer.